Chanel here with another sewing bit. Today we're going to talk about basting. Not turkey basting or basting a chicken, <laughs> but basting in sewing. It's uh, kind of a strange word. I wonder where it came from. Huh. Um, basically it means temporary. A temporary stitch to hold your pieces together so that when you take them to the machine and have to add a facing or another part, like I say, your waistband or something like that, it actually holds it together and um, then you can actually put the whole seam in there. So basting means temporary. So I found this, um, this instruction sheet that um, they're putting together like a ruffle on top of a bodice and it's quite extensive. It's got a big ruffle here, goes down to the arm right here and then to the back. So this is just showing you the um, it's two different views but right here is the basting stitch right here so just saying baste this all together and then baste it and then they're probably putting the facing over it um, that kind of so it's gonna be many layers so it says on outside pin overlay to bodice matching centers seams and small dots having raw edges even baste <laughs> So, based. Um, for, for starters, having raw edges even is, let's say there's these two pieces you're putting together, you gotta put the raw edges even. So you're probably gonna pin those, and you really want them even because when you don't and you change, if you kind of are sewing them like this, you're actually making this part of the garment if you sew it at 5 eighths this part's bigger and they also that's where you kind of see little puckers and in, in seams because then you're um, changing the the grain a little bit there kind of sticks out so you really want raw edges even <laughs> and then basting it um, it just says base so what does that mean uh, it means if you're machine stitching it, putting on the longest stitch and just quickly sewing it. And then also I get asked a lot, what seam allow or what measurement do you do? So is it five eighths? Is it, is it what? Um, I like to just say maybe half an inch or three eighths of an inch, something within that five eighths inch seam allowance and not past it. So not three quarters or one inch. You actually want to, because then you have to go and take it out. And once you actually sew five eighths here and you actually do this regular seam, um, let's say this were five eighths under here, your stitch would show right there. So, um, which is not a really bad thing because it's a long stitch and you can pop it out really easy but um, you just want to keep it within there so less um, pinholes in your garments and everything like that so um, you can mach you can machine baste it which is what I usually do and you can also hand baste it which is you just take a needle and I like to do a double thread like this and then a hand baste is just simply um, you don't even have to knot it you can actually just and I just go a little bit here. The, the goal is to just um, stitch these, or stitch them together, kind of hold on so that they hold on together, just like that. You can take the pins out now, and then this is gonna stay put until you get your next piece on there. And then you can actually just work with it and not have a bunch of pins in there and then not have the raw edges slip and it's just staying in place. So that's how you do a hand stitching or hand based and you can actually just pull it out that easily. Uh, when we put zippers in, um, I like to, a lot of times when you put the zipper in the top layer when the, on the lap zippers, there's a lot of pins to hold it down and in place. So I'll put the pins in and then hand baste that part so that you can sew on the machine without the pins being in the way and you don't have to um, keep moving pins which ends up making everything slip. So, um, so that's the hand based part. I'll show you the machine based. So now to machine based something is basically you want to start with the longest stitch. My machine just goes to four here. This is my stitch length here and it just goes to four. Keep it on the straight stitch and you don't even have to use a reverse um, button on here. 
uh, you just want to stitch it real quick. And uh, the 5 8 is, let's see if I have my 5 8 it's right here. So I'm actually going to make sure I don't go outside of it. I'm going to go, actually I'm just going to put it at a half an inch right here. Um, and I'm just going to simply just sew it. And sometimes you might want to pull it along to make sure you get a long stitch. Because basting, it can, the stitch can either stay in there or you can take it out. No, you don't need to reverse it. Here, you just cut it off and it just temporarily holds the stitch. And you can see how long that stitch is right here too. So um, then I would go, you know, put whatever else needed to be done to this garment and then my 5 eighths is gonna be about here. And then that machine, will either, the machine base will either stay inside it or I can clip it out like that. And also the longer the stitches here too, the really easier they are to pop out because you just take the seam ripper and pop these out real easily um, and they come out. So that's machine basting. See ya the next sewing bit.